hey guys welcome back to the channel and i'm back with another tutorial so in this one we are going to finish this shackle sprout so i imported my file in substance painter and we're going to go to texture set settings and we're going to bake the mesh maps i'm going to use the 2k resolution and deselect id and thickness and click on bake selected textures so our baking is done let's go back i'm going to go back to layers delete this empty layer and let's use something like this iron damaged material i'm going to change the projection to tri planner and uh, turn on normals also increase the roughness a little bit and darken the color like this Now I'm going to take a fill layer and add a black mask. In this mask, I'm going to add fill. And we're going to go to our procedural maps and look for something like these noise. I'll go with this spot. Let's go back to this color and I'm going to change the color. So something like this also I'm going to increase the roughness maybe a little bit of height to give it this old metal look You can rename the layer and I'm going to add one more fill layer. Again, add a black mask, then add a fill. And in this one, I'm going to search for scratches. I'm going to add some scratches like this. Also in this uh, scratch map, I'm going to change the projection to tri -penner. Let's go back to this material and I'm going to turn off the color and uh, metal and normal increase my roughness and turn down my height a little bit like this now I can go back to this scratch map and we can play with balance a little bit I think something like this should be good enough.
Now you can rename this as scratch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to again add a new fill layer. Add black mask and add a generator. In this one I'm going to add this metal edge wear. Now I'll go back to this layer and maybe turn down the height a little bit to get this peeling effect. Now go back to metal edge wear and turn on tri planner. Turn down the wear level a little bit. Also the contrast. Play with the parameters a little bit. Now I'm going to go back to this material and I'll change the color, make it a little bit darker like this. Just to add a little bit of variation. And at last I'm going to go to my materials, select this rust fine, drop it on top of this old layer, change the projection to tri planner and uh, turn on normal, add a black mask, add a generator, then I'm going to use this dirt to make it look like rustic and old. I'm going to go back to this uh, rust material and now we can change the color. Do something like this. Now go back to this dirt and I'm going to use tri planner. You can increase the dirt level if you want it to make more rusty. I'm going to go back and change the color a little bit more. something like this now again I'm going to take another fill layer add a black mask and add a fill go back to my procedural maps and I'm going to take a grunge map to add little bumps on the surface of this texture So I'm going to use this grunge shavings, drop it here and uh, increase the tiling balance a little bit go back to your material increase the height value to 0.15 change the base color take a sample from here like this maybe height value to 0 
and one more thing i'm going to go back to my material and we can search for blood drop this in the layers and now we have this blood texture here i'm going to change the preset like this So this look much better let's make this a little bit more darker this should be good enough and i think this is too much here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a black mask then add a paint i'll just paint only on this part And as for this part, I'm going to change the brush. And just add a little bit of stroke like this. And I think this should be good enough. Let's take a render and see how it looks. So this is our final render. And I think it came out pretty good. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. And if you did, then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.